I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This is a great way to practice decision making and even try a new style or strategy. Lots of opportunities to learn when you play four hands at once. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four we'll get 13 each. We're gonna look at each player's hand and see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to find a category for them to play and we'll gather tiles during the Charleston to strengthen their starting position going into the pick and discard phase of the game. At that point, if you are so inclined, you can be the fifth player and bet who you think will win this game. Pause the video after the Charleston. Look at everybody's hand and decide who you think will win. In the comment section below, write down East, South, West, or North, player one, two, three, or four respectively, and describe why you think they would win this game. Don't read any of the comments till the end of the video because it could affect your decision making. When you play live, you are not to speak or ask questions to the players seated at the table. You make your guess, set it aside, you stay silent through the game, no comments allowed. At the end of the game, then you see what happens. And that's what we're gonna do after this solitaire game. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one, also known as East. For this player, we have a pair of red dragons. I wanna use that somehow in here. We do have some potential for a year hand, two, one, nine, two, nine, two, If we were to do a 2019, I would want a backup because we only have one joke, one dragon. The other, the hand that uses dragons requires Kongs of any two dragons and we only have one, one red dragon in here, a pair, albeit, but I think if we hold one through five consecutive run, that'll be a good backup. So, Let's say we can get rid of the sevens and the north. Keep the one, two, nine. Let's give up the five so we can break up the like numbers. Passing like numbers is almost as bad as passing a pair. So I think that will be a good plan. We do have all the twos, so like numbers with twos might even be a better opportunity than the year. So let's see what we can do for player two. We have dots, one, two, four, eight, five. There's some two, four, six, eight potential here. We have a pair of Easts, but with a one, two consecutive run, that's gonna be stronger. So you go with the most of your multiples. In this case, this multiple is, is weak because the only thing we can really do with East and number tiles would be East and West with evens, and we only have a pair of twos, so I would break this up probably. I think probably consecutive run, one, two, three, four, is gonna be best. So we could even pass one of each suit here. Let's pass those three and play one through five. Consecutive run. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West.
we have singles and here's a pair. That's where we start, ones. Since we have a dragon, we might be able to do an odd hand. It uses three suits, but they're with little odds. One, three, five with dragons. This would be the fourth hand down. That's the only dragon hand in odds. Or we could do maybe north and south with dragons or east and west with dragons. We do have some three, six, nine, but there's a gap, no threes. I think we're probably better off to go with a, a year hand. We have three tiles, but it includes like numbers and I would not pass that. I think we should give up on little odds and focus on a year hand by process of elimination. That way we have options and we have a defensive pass. Let's look and see what we can do for player north. They're also the fourth player. We have a multiple, a three. I'm thinking three, six, nine or consecutive run. So let's hold three, six, nine and consecutive run. So one, two, three, four numbers in a range, maybe five. We have one, two, four, one, two, three, five. So we have a gap, no four. We could use this though. And you don't have to worry about which hand you're playing. Just gather until a hand sort of reveals itself. Here we have like numbers, so I would not pass that. We need to whittle this down. Now we could do three, six, nine, as I said before. We could do something consecutive with twos and threes. Let's go ahead and give up the one bam and focus on two through five. Usually four numbers in a range give you a lot of options in the consecutive run category. So we're ready to pass. We're going to do the first right. So for the first right, east passes to south, south to west, west to north, and north to east. We got a one for consecutive, just hold it all. We're holding all consecutive. We do, did have some potential for a year. Let's hold the nine and pass those three. We're looking for one through five in dots really, but there is a pair hand that has a range of seven consecutive numbers. Here we did pick up a wind, but news with consecutive, not so much. There is news with the year 2019. Let's go ahead and just keep the north and east in case we get the west and south and maybe a nine dot. We could always use this for the white dragon. So let's just continue and see what happens. We're looking for year tiles. We didn't get any and we can pass those. Here we're looking for two through five. We picked up a five, two, three, five, two, five, or three, six, nine. We did get a six, three, six, six, nine. Let's give up the eight and the five. It's looking more like three, six, nine here right now. So we did first right, we're gonna do the across pass now. East and west, west, west and east, then south and north. We got a five and a multiple. So we have one, two, three, five, nine. I think a year hand can go away now that we have that multiple. One through five. Let's pass one of each suit. We can give that up next time. One through five, we're just gonna gather. We could maybe do little odds, one, three, five, but it'd be nice to use this. There is one consecutive run hand that uses the dragon. This would be the fifth hand down. 
We need a four or a six for that though, and flowers. Unless we switch to a pair hand and where we're gonna need consecutive numbers in two suits. So right now, we might be better off to hold the six in case five, six comes in. Maybe we could give up this two instead and hold the six. So we can build around the five. One, two, unless it's in one suit is pretty far from this pair. So mix suits with the five in little numbers, that's gonna be a pretty big stretch. We're looking for dots or nine dot west south. Let's pass those. We got a west and we have tiles we can pass. This would be maybe for a year hand. We got all kinds of possibilities in there. So we're just gonna keep gathering. We are looking for 369 and we got a nine. I think we should give up on those and focus on 369, building around the three dot. So let's pass those three. So we did a cross. Now we're going to do first left. So east passes to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We got a five. Here's a seven. One, two, three, five, seven. If we get the right tiles, maybe we could do five, one, three, five, seven, nine. I wonder if I gave away a nine crack. Let's pass those. Oh, we picked up a six and an eight. Maybe that sequence hand could come in. We really don't need this eight. And I don't think the news with the year really is gonna work because we have a gap, no nine dot. And I think even a pair hand is probably a stretch because we'd have to throw away a joker. I'd rather use it. We can use this for the missing three. Or if we fill in, we could play the pair hand and discard it. Let's give up on the wins. So here we picked up an east, which we really don't need if we're playing a year hand and we have year tiles. Let's give up the east and focus on year tiles. Now this is gonna get a little risky passing two wins together, but we need options here. I think I would risk it. We got a nine crack. Tiles to pass. So we did first left. Now we're going to do second left. East passes up to north, north to west, west to south, and south to east. No keepers. No keepers. We did pair up. Anytime you get a pair, reassess. In this case, I would let it go. We got a keeper, a two. Just gather every tile that can be used in the category. We can pass those. So we're looking for two, one, nine, dragons and winds. Probably giving up on the winds maybe either the winds or the dragons. There's only one hand that uses winds and one hand that uses dragons. The one that uses dragons, we need flowers and we have none. Let's go ahead and keep the wind and give up a dragon. Let's give up the green one though, because we could do consecutive run with the dragon. We got a nine and tiles to pass. So here we have three, six, nine, nine, six, nine, 369. In the 369 category, there are no like numbers unless we play the pair hand, which we'd have to throw this away. I, I would not do that probably. I would want to leverage these tiles here. Maybe 3669 flowers 
three six six nine flower we'd have to use this for the six or maybe three six nine kongs fourth hand down so let's break this up and pass the six so we did second left now we're going to do the cross pass east and west pass and then north and south no keepers we got a keeper and tiles we can pass we got an east which i don't think is going to be very helpful in this case because we want year tiles here we have discards really let's pass those three so we went across now we're going to do last right so east to south south to west west to north and then north to east we have discards five discards but we have a a nice start with consecutive or little odds and joker bait so we'll see let's keep the one five just to see if little odds comes in we could discard those well we have optional cross still so let's just wait and see oh we got a keeper I think one through five using this as the missing three since we have a pung in there I would give up on the pair hand we picked up a north and we have tiles we can pass I think a year hand is good here we don't have any keepers there so now we're gonna do optional cross optional cross east and west and then north and south we got a red which corresponds so we could keep it we have two tiles and maybes discards keeper two year hand potential no keepers here okay we're done with the Tarleston so now you're gonna pause the video look at everybody's hand and pick who you think will win write your guess in the comment section below and write down why you think they would win this game consecutive run or little odds consecutive run year hand and three six nine that's my thought process I'm going to place my bet right here on East Rack. And we're going to get started by discarding one BAM. And it's this player's turn. They're playing a year hand, but this is at the moment concealed. Two crack. Let's get rid of the wind. Three BAM. Get rid of the wind east nine crack oh that's a keeper just gather all, everything for this category and there is one hand with two hands with dragons one is knitted but we have kind of the wrong arrangement here i guess we could keep the dragon for a little while let's get rid of the wind one dot year tile let's get rid of the year tile one dot now if we play one through five consecutive run first hand they only need a pair here if we played one two with flowers that would be one two three with flowers third hand down or the fifth hand down with a dragon we have no flowers no dragons i would stay concealed four bam let's discard we have one two the two is consecutive so is the four 
Let's just keep those and get rid of these big numbers. Okay, five crack. We have year tiles, two, one, two. We could maybe move to consecutive. Let's get rid of the six span. Up here, three, six, nine, but we can't do anything with that six span. We have a four dot, we can discard that. Six bam, that could be good joker bait. Five, six, five, six, five dragons. Maybe we could play like numbers with dragons. Let's get rid of this eight bam. Nine dot. I don't think that's helpful here. Five, two, one, big number. This is concealed. This right now, I would not take that for a pong. The nines, except for a concealed hand, are all Kongs in three, six, nine. We're gonna draw eight bam. Nines, eights, two bam. Let's discard two bam. We're going to draw down here, but this player, they could potentially take that, but they have no white dragons and we could still play something concealed and they have lots of options. I would not take it. Stay concealed. One crack. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five, seven, five, six. Let's discard this seven. Actually, five, seven, 12 is a, is a hand in addition, but we have no flowers. I would not do that. Let's focus on consecutive run and discard that seven crack. Hmm. It looks pretty, but it's not a hand right now. We got to do some work here. Let's draw. Three crack. One, two, four, five, six, two, three, four, eight. This doesn't belong. Let's get rid of that. Three BM. Five crack. Let's get rid of the five crack. We got some consecutive in here. One, two, two, three. Right now, that's good joker bait, maybe. Five bam. Seven bam. Three, four. One through five. Joker. Two, three, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of the six dot. We could play one, two, three, four. This is really light though. We'll just wait and see what happens. Up here, I would not take that. I don't think we could anyway. There is knitted where you could do a pung of sixes, but we're so far off, I would rather stay concealed. We could maybe even play a pair hand and sacrifice the joker. Let's draw. Four bam. Okay, let's look at this two, three, four here. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of the nine dot. We do not need all those year tiles. And I'm thinking consecutive run is better now than a year hand. Five dot. Three, six, nine, nines, like numbers with nines. Let's discard this five dot. Down here, if we played one through five, that's supposed to be a pair in that first hand. I would stay concealed. White dragon. I don't think that's gonna be helpful. Five cracks, bams, 
the white dragon. If you're not using dragons, especially white, discard it early. Nobody can take it. Seven dot, discard. South. Okay, we have news. We have news. That's like a block of its own there. 2019, 2019 potential joker bait. Okay, let's go back now that we have, oops. Now that we have news, let's go back to a year hand. And let's draw. West. We just got through the second wall. We are now in the middle game. Everybody should know what category they're in. Here we're doing consecutive run or little odds. Here with maybe some big joker bait. <laughs> Here we're doing consecutive run. Year hand, 369. Seven dot. Three dot. Oh, that filled a gap. Okay, now pair, pung, kong, pung. We're really light here. We need some help. Let's discard the two crack. We still could maybe do one, two, three, four, but I think this one through five is, is really probably best. I probably wouldn't consider the quint. There's a quint in one suit, but we'd have to throw away a pair of fives. So we threw a two crack. We're drawing. This is concealed. Four crack. Seven bam. Joker. Oh, they need that. Maybe in here in the four? I don't know. This this red dragon here is a problem unless we play, unless we switch to like numbers with fives, but that's really that's really bleak for like numbers with fives, but we'd be able to use those dragons. The dragon hand in odds is opposite, so we can't use that. Now, if we played four, five, or five, six with dragons, the fifth hand down, we need flowers and we have none. We've got major gaps. So this is gonna be a challenge for this player. I think we could maybe discard the six BAM or the five BAM. I wanna, and I wanna keep one through five in case one through five, the first hand under consecutive run comes in. Let's get rid of the six bam, as painful as it is. Can't take it up there. We're going to draw nine dot. Eight crack. Two bam. This is concealed. Joker. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna need that in there. Maybe we could play one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of the six bam. Nobody wanted it. Six crack. Let's get rid of it. Six crack. Can't take it up there. I mean, we could do three, six, six, nine. Let's just think about it. Let's see. No, we don't have enough. We would need a six. Six dot. All right, now we can't take that there either. They're kind of stuck. We need some help. Four crack. Okay, four crack down here. We could maybe pung it, but if we pung it, we're gonna be exposing two jokers. There's a four crack out. If they have any hope, they got to take it now, I think. We need to get rid of these dragons. This was kind of a, a hard situation for them. They have no gaps now. 
Let's get rid of the five bam and just commit. Green dragon, let's discard three crack. So now they can't act on that because they use their jokers here. Seven crack. Flower, that's helpful. I'm thinking we should maybe switch them to three to nines, like numbers with nines. Let's see, seven, eight, nine with nines. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the seven dot. Maybe they could play eight, nine, eight, nine. We don't have the eight crack, and I think there are eight cracks out. Okay, so we threw a seven dot. It's this player's turn. Four crack, exchange. Exchanging own, very nice. Oh man, they needed that. Let's discard the red dragon. Just count everybody's tiles. Okay, everybody's good. Six crack. We need to get rid of that green dragon. Seven dot. South. One bam. Actually, let's keep that and get rid of the red dragon. Nobody wants it. It's a, kind of a risky tile. Same thing here with this dragon, green dragon. Let's get rid of it. We're going into the middle of the middle game. You want to start thinking about these risky tiles. There's a flower. So we have one, two, 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 three, one, two, two, three. Let's get rid of the two dot. Two dot, we're good. Five bam. Nobody needs that five bam. Red dragon, oh my goodness, they would have had a Kong a wet red dragons that they couldn't use south. Three dot. We need to get rid of all these really three dot. Okay, now up here, they could Kong one, two. This would be a Kong down here for that first hand. So up here for three, six, I'm thinking that we should have them play like numbers with nines. I don't think I would Kong that. We could Kong it and do three, six, nine and mix suits, but we have no six bams and they're out. There are three, six bams out. I would not call that four dot. I might even consider, no, nines are gonna be better. Four dot, let's discard four dot. Down here we can draw, but this player, we're gonna, we're gonna Pung it and commit to one through five. Let's discard nine bam. So this player discarded nine bam, this is concealed and they're not ready here. Four crack exchange, please. Thank you. Okay, now, okay, let's see here. There are, we don't need these threes. Those are really joker bait, three bam. Three bam, nobody can take it. One dot, that's not helpful. One dot down here, that's a pair, so we're okay there. Joker, oh yeah, 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 they need that. Okay, that was good. Let's get rid of this red dragon. Whoops, oh, joker bait. Let's get rid of the three bam, nobody wanted that. So we'll hold the fours. White dragon, oh my goodness, they got, let's maybe put it there because here we have a gap, no nine. Here at least we can use this for the one. That's kind of what I'm thinking. This is gonna have to go. Let's get rid of the three bam. Eight crack. 
This is where I was thinking maybe we should switch them to consecutive run. 8989 eight, with flowers. Because this is just not coming in. Let's get rid of the green dragon. We can maybe use this to help out. Let's draw. Six crack. Whoops. Nine bam. Yeah, there are two nine bams out. There's only one more. That's going to be really risky. Oopsies. West. We do not need that really. I want to still leave my options open here. Let's draw. Flower. That 8989 eight, hand, second from the bottom under consecutive run, we need, a, we need a Kong. We need to decide now how many eight cracks are out. Let's see here. I think there's one eight crack out. And there's one eight dot out. This hand is still viable. Let's give up on the six dot and give ourselves options to go back to like numbers with nines. At least we can use jokers with all the nines in case the eights don't come through. Last tile, third wall. Three bam, that is safe. It's this player's turn. So everybody should be thinking, do they want to play to win or switch to defense? Here, we're two away from winning. We could Pung here or Kong here. We do need some help, though. It's very light. Here, same situation, very light with the three. That middle Kong, that's a pretty heavy multiple. Here, we are really light with nines. And there's a gap. Gap with a one bam, gap with a nine crack. We have a risky tile too. Here, eight, nine, eight, nine, very light with eights and nines. But they have joker bait. Five bam. Four bam, discard. That's joker bait, and it's probably no good because nobody wanted that four bam. West. Green dragon. Joker. Oh yes, that's very good, very good. We'll discard four, bam, and they're one away from ready. So they should push to win for sure. Two crack. Okay, that's helpful. Let's get rid of this flower. They still have a gap. They, this is probably, at this point, better than the nine, but they have no nine crack. So we'll see what happens. They've got a gap. Okay, flower was discarded. They need four, let's Kong. And then we can discard this joker bait, three dot. Okay, down here, it's this player's turn. This player needs a Kong, so they're not ready for it. North. Seven, crack. South. Six crack. Flower. Flower. Eight crack. That's the second eight crack. Don't think. Let's see. One. Eight crack, one, two. Okay, eight bam, <laughs> options here, eight bam. 
Okay, let's give up the three dot and they're not ready for it. One bam, discard, not ready for it. Seven bam, three crack, discard. Down here, let's Kong. It's kind of risky in the end game with all those jokers, but they don't have any choice if they want to win. They're one away now, one away from ready. One bam, east. Six dot. Joker. Okay, that might help with the nines. We have to decide though now. Nine bam, there are two out. Nine dots, there are two out. So it's six, one half dozen, the other. Let's look at bam, uh, the eights. There are two eight bams out. And there are, there's only one eight dot out. So let's give up the BAMs, nine BAM. That's the third nine BAM out, so that's rendered null. Four, 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 twelve, okay. White Dragon, this is concealed. Eight BAM. Okay, that's the second eight bam, third eight bam out. Drawing, five dot, nine bam, that's a good discard. Eight dot, oh wow, look, they're ready to win on an eight crack. Eight bam, discard, ready to win on an eight, eight crack. Using these, these are the nines. White dragon, green dragon, nine crack, seven crack, oh, joker, oh yeah, they're ready to win. Ready to win. We're discarding five crack. Ready to win on a two crack. Drawing. North. I'm kind of hoping they draw that four dot. Eight crack. I'm going to discard the eight crack. And that would be Mahjong right here. Let's we'll put it there. Mahjong. Four flowers. Eight, nine, eight, nine, okay. So who did you vote for? Everybody had a really rough start, I think. I voted for South. South was my pick. So I wanted this player to win. They were one, one away from ready. This player was ready to win on a two crack. This player could not get nines primarily because of this player. And they won with the second from the bottom under consecutive run.
I think there were some interesting pain points with that game of solitaire. The two consecutive run players needed Kongs in the middle of their pyramid, the threes, and they each had a difficult time obtaining multiples strong enough to claim discards, even with jokers in their hand. So that was a pain point, those big middle Kongs with that pyramid convention. The player playing the year hand west, they could not get pairs of nines. Nines are hard to come by because of the year and the, all the like number potential on the card this year. North was playing with nines, three, six, nine. Then like numbers with nines was a potential. And then finally, eight, nine consecutive run. All those nines were being held by North. How did you do when picking the winner for this game? Obviously, I didn't pick the right winner. I really thought that that South player would win because even though they had a gap with their three, they had a joker, but not enough. That is a heavy Kong. You got to have some representation for those middle Kongs in that pyramid convention. If you picked the right player, you get paid just like the winner. But if you do not pick correctly, you have to pay just like everybody else. I think fifth player betting is kind of fun. It adds some to the game. Let me know what you think about fifth player betting. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.